G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through my process of stacking the Milky Way to reduce the noise. Okay, so we're here in Lightroom. Um, this first image here is just a single, uh, ISO 12800. 21 mil f2.8 eight seconds. Um, the reason why I shot it so high is just to freeze the stars so you don't get trailing. You probably could do it for up to 15 to 20 seconds and bring your ISO down um, to get a cleaner image, but this is just what I use to uh, frame my Milky Way. But you can also do this and take 10, 15, 20 images and then you can do the same process but um, you may run into trouble because it's so grainy and there's a lot of noise. That's why one reason I like to track. Um, I can switch over to this one. You can see how much cleaner it is. That's um, 3 minutes at ISO 800 F4. So there's a huge difference tracking, but you can always get around that by stacking and that will also bring out details in the Milky Way. So I've got these shots here, I think there's 11 shots, yep. Um, start off by removing chromatic aberration and then enable profile corrections and then with all those selected I can just hit synchronize and they're all done. And now I don't need to do anything else. I can just edit, open this layers in Photoshop. Okay, so they're all in. Um, we can go through, you can see there's plane trails in some of these. One there, one there. It's probably some in nearly all of them. But I'll show you uh, the difference between the two blending modes that we're going to use they will subtract these out. So if you shift click them all and go to edit and auto align and let that run. Looks like it's done. So they're all aligned now. You can go through and check to see if they're all aligned but um, if you've taken the photos right Photoshop does a pretty good job. So now we want to right click and convert these to a smart object. Once that's done, I like to make a copy. So um, Control J on a PC and Command J on a Mac. Um, now this top one, I've got two because there's two different blending modes that we can use. If we go to layer, smart objects and stack mode, we're going to use the median and mean. So we'll go mean first. And these two, they take an average of all the pixels in all the layers and average that out and you get a really nice clean image most of the time. That's done. Now we can do the same for this one. Go up to layer, smart objects, stack mode, median. And then we'll just cycle through both and see which one's the best. Both done. So now we can zoom in and you can see that there's no difference in the stars. The only difference is the foreground just here. So um, you want most of the sky because um, that's what you're shooting. Um, so what I like to do is pick the, the cleanest foreground because it gives you more room to play with when you're uh, blending your Milky Way. So I'm gonna get rid of the mean and keep the median. So um, I'll go back here and we'll grab this and you can see the difference between the two. There's all that noise and grain and look how much it's cleaned up. So it's an unbeatable technique. It's just a little bit more work, but um, 
yeah, you can get you can get a lot a lot better results with doing this. Um, I try and shoot at least five, ten, fifteen, twenty frames. Um, and always stack for noise reduction because you get a better quality image and I really hate noise so um, that's a good way to alleviate that noise. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.